Okay, you guys, so I am starting this video out. Like, I didn't even know how I was gonna do this video, but I really wanted to film somehow, like, my thoughts kind of through this process of getting IUI done, especially if, I mean, even if it does work out this month or if it doesn't work out this month, like, I... I mean, I don't know, like I'm really hoping that it works out this month, but, but if you wanna like hear more about just like how we got to like this step, I have like my infertility story and I'll link it up above for you guys. Um, Cause I also have like a miscarriage story also. So my doctor had said for us to do IUI and he had given me, even though I ovulate by myself, he gave me um, like, a, like I think it's like 2.5 milligrams or something of letrozole. Um, to make sure that I'm going to ovulate and so this is like my first month taking it I took it days five through nine like cycle days five through nine and I didn't have like any side effects or anything and so then uh, I started testing I like I have to test via like ovulation test strips and call the clinic when I get a positive and I've never taken ovulation test strips I've always just taking my temperature and I have the Ava bracelet, so I've been using the Ava bracelet like every single night and you know, just seeing how my temperature is and stuff like that. I have been pretty stressed out actually because I wish I would have like done the ovulation test before so I just knew like what to do. I had just gotten the cheapy ones from Amazon and then I decided to go get um, the more expensive like digital ones to use along with it because I don't know how to read lines very well apparently, but I'll sh kind of show you guys like just what I've been going through. Obviously the lines aren't gonna show up as well now that they have like been dry for days and stuff, but I am like, <laughs> if I seem really weird, I'm freaking out because like I finally got my positive ovulation test strip today. So <laughs> I'm like so excited and it's really weird because this is exactly, I'm on cycle day 18 and I usually always ovulate like around 18 to 20 like of my cycle days. So, and it's exactly the day that like Ava had said I was gonna ovulate and stuff. So it's just like, it's weird. Like even though I took that letrozole, like it didn't do anything different to my cycle, even though I thought it was going to, like I thought I was gonna ovulate. Like I thought I had missed my ovulation because my test strips were like dark, but then they lightened up but I wasn't getting the like solid smiley on my actual like digital. So I just wanna show you guys just in case like you are also going through IUI and you're having this problem. So I started testing on cycle day 13 and like obviously you won't be able to see a huge difference because they're like dried up. Um, but like they were almost as dark, like this one was almost as dark and I thought that I was gonna like have a positive soon but then it got lighter and then it was light this morning, but then it was like almost as dark. Like I was pretty sure I was gonna ovulate on this day, but then it got lighter again. And then it definitely got lighter and I thought I missed my chance. And then even yesterday, like it was still light. And then today it finally um, got pretty dark. Like I know it's dried up so you can't see it very well, but um, I might have a picture I can like pop up, but it actually like this side is a lot darker, which is what you want. And I finally got the solid smiley. So with this one, um, it will have just like a circle if you're not fertile at all. And it'll have the flashing smiley if you are getting into peak fertility. And then it'll have a solid smiley when you actually have reached your peak fertility. Sorry, it's it's flashing when you're in high fertility is what I mean. And then it's solid when you actually hit it and you get that LH surge. So it's been smiling all of these days, like it's been flashing smiling. And so I literally didn't know like what was happening. But then today at 1030, I took this test and it started becoming like darker so I decided to go ahead and take this and it ended up being a solid smiley. So I can't believe I finally, like, finally got my LH surge. This is my positive, so I can call the clinic. Unfortunately though, it is Sunday <laughs> and my clinic is not open on Sunday. So this is a stressful process, like not gonna lie. It, uh, like for me, 
thinking that I like missed my ovulation or thinking that like I didn't know how the tests were working. Like I was really stressed out like last week dealing with all of those tests and I had kind of given up or I just felt like I had given up. Like I was like, eh, whatever. Like a month is wasted because if you think about it, like it takes a whole month for you to be able to like do this over again and a month can last a really long time. So I'm just really excited because I only had taken one test yesterday and like with it being so light, like I didn't even take a digital yesterday. With it being so light, I was like, okay, whatever. Like I'll just take one cheapy test every day, see if it's gonna get darker and if it like totally disappears, then I know that I've like lost it. Like I've missed my ovulation. But I was super surprised when it started getting really dark and then I was even more surprised when the digital said, it's positive. So I'm super excited. It's only like noon right now and all of this happened at like 1030, but I literally was like so like nervous and crazy. I didn't even film anything, but um, I, my, the clinic like opens at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So I'm going to call right at 8 a.m. because they don't have like, like the numbers that they have are like an emergency. Like they say to call 911 and like, this is definitely not an emergency, but I have to call at 8 a.m., tell them I have a positive that I got it yesterday or like today. And um, hopefully they can get us in like tomorrow morning because I'm afraid we're gonna miss it. But I'm just really hoping it works out like the first time because like this is not cool to have to do this every month. And I'm like really nervous about the whole IUI procedure, but I'll explain all of that. Like once I have it done, um, I'll update this video and explain like exactly what it was like having an IUI done and then hopefully we get a positive pregnancy test. All right guys, I'm sitting in the parking lot. It is 3.46, today is Monday, August, is it the 26th I think? Yeah, and I had woken up this morning because like yesterday was when I got the positive ovulation test and the clinic wasn't open yesterday because it was Sunday and so I had to wait until 8 a.m. to call this morning and then they like had me leave a message and they weren't calling me back so then like Alvin had to call them and they were you know they were like I'm sorry we're like running really far behind we don't know if we can even get you in for the IUI today and like you only have a specific amount of time to like get this done so then they told me that um, they called me and said, oh, you know, we can do eight o'clock on Tuesday morning. Um, and so we thought that's when we were gonna get it done. And then they called me back like 20 minutes later and they were like, actually just kidding. We can't do it at eight o'clock on Tuesday morning. We have to do it today at 4 p.m. But like Alvin had to be at work and stuff and like he's a catering manager, so he can't just like you know, leave his job in the middle of an event, but he is driving up because it's like 45 minute drive, like from where he works to the clinic. So he's driving up to give his sample and then he's going straight back to work. So I have to do this IUI like all by myself and I'm super nervous for it, but it's okay. Like they said it was going to be stressful and like this whole you like week, like trying to pinpoint when I'm ovulating and then you know, them not calling you back and them being closed on Sunday and like trying to work it out with like Alvin's schedule and stuff like that definitely was like really stressful. So I'm just really hoping that it works like this one time and that we don't have to do it again, even though we only have like a 10% chance. So I'm just waiting for Alvin to show up. Um, so that way we can do whatever we need to do. Um, but then he's going to leave and I have to wait for them to like wash the sperm and then I think like the insertion part is just, it takes like a couple minutes or something like that. And I guess people say it doesn't really hurt. It's kind of like a pap smear, but yeah. So I'll probably just update you guys like after it happens and my thoughts on the whole process. So I am all finished with the IUI. It is 5.13. I sat in there for an hour half naked on the table, like in this little room by myself. Alvin came and he like did his sperm sample and then he left, he had to go back to work. And so I was just there by myself that whole entire time, like just on my phone and stuff, trying not to, like I was nervous. Like I was trying to like have my friends send me like funny memes and stuff like that to like make me not feel all alone. 
because it's definitely not how I pictured a baby being conceived, you know, in that way, but it's fine. Um, but everything like went really well then. Like the doctor came in and it took like two minutes. It was almost like a pap smear where I had to like scoot all the way down. You had to like put your feet in the stirrups and then they like he had the like metal pap smear thing and that was definitely uncomfortable like it was cold and it was uncomfortable and like ugh, it was just not that fun and then he had shown me like the little like needle thing or whatever that had the sperm in it and he was like this is what's going in you and I laid down and closed my eyes and <laughs> prayed to God I was like oh my gosh get me through this um but it turned out to be okay. I do have like a little cramping now, which he said is like normal. Um, but he said it was like really easy to get um, like the catheter into my cervix that like it was just a one try and it was fine. And I didn't really even like feel that part. It was just, you know, just generally uncomfortable. So I didn't really feel any like poking or inserting or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, and so then after that, he just had me lay on my side for five to six minutes and we talked about like, you know, what we were doing. This was our first IUI, um, you know, what the problems were, like it was the sperm and did I ovulate by myself and like all that kind of stuff. And then he just said, make sure you eat a high fat, low carb diet, which I already do. And he said, you know, just don't watch horror movies and just think puppy dogs and rainbows and smiling faces and all the sunshine and uh you know I guess I'll see you in two weeks so I'm not sure how I'm ending this if I'm ending this here or if I'm like waiting until I see if I'm pregnant and putting that in this clip also I'm not sure I just wanted to have this documented for like anybody else that's going through an IUI but also just for myself like to see you know how many things did I have to do to get my first baby and like you know just stuff like that so I'm going to go home now because Taylor Swift is performing on the VMAs tonight. So yeah, it's been a couple weeks now and I was not pregnant from this IUI. I actually didn't get to update you guys. Um, but after my IUI, like an hour and a half later, um, I had a lot of pain. Like I had never been in so much pain in my life. It only lasted for like 40 minutes but I had been just laying on the sofa like after my IUI because I had like minor cramping like just like period cramps it felt like and then the cramping just kept getting like worse and worse and it like got so bad that I felt like I was like I couldn't like think I was like feeling like I was gonna throw up because I was just in so much pain and I was just like crying like <laughs> I was on the floor like on my hands and knees like I was trying to do whatever I could to like relieve the pain and I ended up taking like some ibuprofen and after like 40 minutes then the pain just like went away so I tried like googling a bunch of it because like my doctor's office was closed at the time and everything that I had googled said that um people that experience like major pain like that like they had called their doctor and their doctor said that like sometimes that just happens so since I wasn't pregnant for this IUI I just actually I only have one more day left of taking um my letrozole again and so I will be ovulating like again in like a week or so like a week and a half and so when I go back in for my second IUI now, um, I'm going to like ask the doctor and just like make sure that that was like a normal thing or maybe it's just something that happens to me. But it's funny because I was going to make this video like saying about how easy the IUI turned out to be, like how like, you know, the process of the IUI was not painful. The doctor said that like everything went really well, but then after going through that like extreme pain later that evening, and I was like sore, like I couldn't, I could hardly walk the next day. Like, it, like I have never felt like sore in that area. It was just really, really weird. And um, even like, a, like we, technically weren't allowed to have sex for like 48 hours and so after 48 hours like um we tried having sex and like it's still like my cervix was like so sore it was so weird so I want to make sure that that's like a normal thing or if it was okay or if something went wrong with it I have no clue um but yeah unfortunately I was not pregnant with this first IUI so that's a little like upsetting um just because you know 
it's like $700, like with insurance covering 90% of it, you know, just down the drain. So that's not cool, but I'm gearing up to do another IUI. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog the experience again. Like, I don't know if I should vlog every single IUI because there could be the IUI where I get a positive, you know, pregnancy test. I don't know, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments because like I don't know how much of this you guys want to see um, you know but I thought I would at least vlog my first experience just you know for those of you that don't know how it goes or what it is or you know I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos before my first IUI so that's all I have to say for this hopefully I have some good news in a couple of weeks but you know, it is very disappointing that like, you know, you still pay money, you go get help and like, it still just doesn't work as easily as other people that just have an oopsie pregnancy, you know, but I guess that's, that's life for you. So thanks for watching this video. I will see you all in another video. Bye guys.